Hi, I'm Kenosha County Executive Jim Cruiser. Every day great things happen in Kenosha County. And I just want to thank CABA, the CABA Board, and the CABA membership for all the great things they do every day to make our community better and to create more jobs, more development, and tax base for our community. And also, I'd like to thank them for bestowing on to me one of the highest honors from the Kenosha Area Business Alliance. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. CABA is a top-notch organization with an extraordinary staff, and I am deeply honored to receive this recognition. Thank you, Todd Battle and Heather Wessling and everyone on your team who worked so hard in support of economic development in Kenosha County. My history with CABA begins at its inception under the leadership of then County Executive John Collins. When he took the economic development of our county out of the political arena and placed it as a mostly independent professional group with the long-term interest of our community in mind. It was a pleasure to continue my relationship of working with CABA while I was in the legislature. And then when I came into office in 2008 as Kenosha County Executive. At that time, during the height of the Great Recession, which many people can hardly even remember these days, we were struggling to move forward on infrastructure and economic development. I was able to work with CABA to extend County Trunk Highway N for Gordon Foods and create two or three other lots for future development. That was able to successfully get accomplished and who would have thought? Who would have thought one of those lots would be Amazon? Which then begat working with Liz Uline after speaking directly with her at a Cava luncheon about locating all of her buildings in Kenosha County and working on getting Uline to build on land in Paris, which then was annexed to the city. A boundary agreement with the city the town of Paris and the town and village of Summers had to be forged. A sticky mess as it was, it got done. And I was so glad to be a central part of that. It was the right thing to do. CABA was a significant value added partner in that process and it clearly has paid off for the city of Kenosha and all of the development that has occurred in that boundary area. Without having to endure the historic border wars or water wars. And it allowed summer to move, Summers to move forward with First Park 94 and many other significant developments within that village without unnecessary obstruction. Kava has been a leader and quite frankly one of the secrets to my success, not only as a sounding board for infrastructure projects, but by doing the math on a number of economic development investments we've considered. Additionally, having Todd Battle at our bond rating meetings and expressing the business community's view has certainly assisted Kenosha County attaining a double A plus rating and on a pathway to a triple A rating. Kenosha County government has been a leader in southeastern Wisconsin with the funding and deploying of our high impact fund, which has put us a cut above other communities trying to lure companies in while showing them that we really want to make Kenosha County home for them and their employees. Back in 2010, when we had the final shuttering of the Chrysler engine plant, we moved on to help bring many great employers to Kenosha County. Canal Manufacturing, Niagara Bottling, Good Foods Group, Vonco Products, Nexus Pharmaceuticals, Haribo, the list goes on and on. And clearly, CABA hasn't just looked east of I-94. In discussions with Todd and Heather, we've worked to develop the Salem Business Park. This was clearly an example of the county and CABA and the village working together to really make some that development of substantial size. Groundbreakings have occurred there, and now it looks to be another stable base for the village of Salem Lakes. And I appreciate the work CABA continues to do with Twin Lakes and Bristol. 
All of the best practices that Kaaba brings forward for economic development make us one of the hottest places, not only in the region, but the nation, and some would even say the world. I've been blessed to be able to see the growth starting in 1986 when I was working in the county executive's office. In 1988, seeing Highway 165 built when it was still County Trunk Highway Q with visionaries like Wayne Kessel and Dick Abdu from Webco and We Energies. We were supportive of getting that done and of course our own Joe Andrea, the former senator who pushed the utility holding company bill through the legislature. We've seen the diversification and strength of our community move forward, not because of any one individual, but because of the collective group of which Kaba was a key component. It is my hope that whoever is the next county executive will continue the great relationship that I have with Kaba. It's in the best interest for the long haul for the people of Kenosha, having rooftops built and people working under them, and having the opportunity for their children and grandchildren to work, live, and raise a family here in Kenosha County. Again, I can't thank you enough for having a top-notch professional staff on every level, top to bottom, to work with Kenosha County to score as many successes and to do some of the intangibles that, quite frankly, county government couldn't do as well. I appreciate this honor, but this has truly been a partnership that has made the community that I was born in and raised in turn the corner on a number of challenges that we've had in the past. And Kenosha County government is going to continue to get us through one of the biggest challenges that we've had before us today. And that's to get as many shots in arms as we can and vaccinations through this COVID experience that we've had. And then move us forward to get Kenosha County's economy back in high gear for everyone. Thank you all very much and may God bless all of you and be well.